Hello to all. You are watching Biology by Dr. Anish Jain. Today we are going to discuss about some MCQs which are based on the endocrine system. Very first question is the antagonistic hormones are. First of all, you must know that what do you mean by antagonistic? Antagonistic means the hormones which are acting opposite to each other. Their functions are opposite to each other and that's that hormones are called as antagonistic hormones. So see here, HCG oxytocin combination, FSH LH combination, estrogen progesterone combination or insulin glucagon combination. You have to choose that which is an antagonistic hormone. So you must know that out of these four, the antagonistic hormone pair is the D option. That is the insulin and the glucagon hormone because we know very well insulin is the hormone which reduces the blood sugar level while the glucagon hormone is actually increasing the blood glucose level. So we can say that they are working antagonistic to each other while all the other hormones are not antagonistic to each other. HCG is released by placenta and it is pregnancy testing hormone. Oxytocin is released by the pituitary gland and it is milk releasing hormone. FSH is controlling the process of spermatogenesis. LH is controlling the Ugin, that is known as the ovulation process. Estrogen is actually controlling the secondary sexual characteristic in the female as well as it is released at the time of the menstrual cycle. And progesterone hormone is pregnancy maintaining hormone. So the three other options are not antagonistic to each other. Only the fourth option that is insulin and glucagon hormone are working antagonistic to each other. Question number two is hormone present in greatest concentration during ovulation is. So we know very well that see the question number two. We know that menstrual cycle is of 28 days in the primate females. Now on the 14th day that is the midday of the menstrual cycle what happens ovulation occur. And you must know that on the day 14th of the menstrual cycle ovulation happens under the administration of a hormone known as the LH hormone which is actually secreted in high quantities by the anterior lobe of the pituitary gland and this LH hormone is called as the luteinizing hormone. So the question is hormone present in greatest concentration during the ovulation that is the option number C is the correct luteinizing hormone. If you see the picture in the NCRTs also of the class 12th you will be able to see that on the 14th day of the menstrual cycle the hormone which is secreted at the peak level in the highest concentration level is the LH. So the answer is LH. Now coming to the question number 3 which of the following is called a second messenger. So first of all you must know that what is the primary messenger. Primary messengers are hormones. Hormones are what? Primary messengers. Now what these do? Hormones activate, hormones activate a enzyme known as adenyl cyclase. Adenyl cyclase enzyme. These hormones activate the adenyl cyclase enzyme which is found in plasma membrane, which is found in plasma membrane. Now what is the role of, what is the role of this enzyme? This enzyme converts the ATP this enzyme converts that is the adenyl cyclase enzyme when activated by the hormones it converts the ATP into the CAMP it converts ATP into CAMP now what is CAMP? CAMP is cyclic adenosine monophosphate and it actually controls this cyclic adenosine adenosine monophosphate controls what? controls working of cell it controls working of cell. It is responsible for controlling the working of the cell. So the question is that which of the following is called a second messenger? So enzyme system of receptor cells, activated mRNA, cyclic AMP or calcium ions. So the option number C is correct. Cyclic adenosine monophosphate is treated as the second messenger. Question number four is in which of the following organism hormones are not present? Now the question is that you have to choose an organism in which the hormones are not present. So you must know that cockroach, bacteria, frog and monkey. Always remember there are no hormones secreted in the prokaryotes such as the bacteria. So option number B is correct for the question number 4 that 
the bacteria are not having any hormones in their body okay now the question number 5 is if ovaries from a pregnant woman are removed in the fourth month of the pregnancy then what will happen development of embryo becomes abnormal abortion occurs after some time embryo develops normally till birth or none now again i am repeating the question if ovaries from a pregnant woman are removed in the fourth month as we know very well that we have removed the ovaries during the fourth month now the ovary is important basically for the purpose of the ovulation and from the ovary the ovum is actually reaching the oviduct and fusion occurs in the oviduct and when the fusion occurs then a zygote is formed and the developing embryo is actually implanted on the uh, mother's uterus okay so if you will be removing the ovary from a pregnant mother in fourth month during the pregnancy there will be no major effect on the embryo development means we can say embryo will develop normally till the birth why because in the fourth month we have removed the ovary so ovary will be not imposing any effect because the embryo is developing in the uterus so by removing the ovary it will not affect so the answer is the c option embryo develops normally till birth so students this was the video based on the endocrine system mcqs will be coming soon with few more videos of like this type so that you can prepare properly for the competitive exams thanks a lot keep watching my video like my videos share my videos and also subscribe my channel thank you